What's going on guys, AliRx here, and this is my predictions video for WWE WrestleMania 29. I know I'm a little bit late to this, and you know, it's, it's almost the day of WrestleMania tomorrow, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, here's my predictions for WrestleMania 29, and I have the list of matches right here. First one is the pre-show, and I don't know why this is a pre-show thing because it's for, excuse me, it's for the Intercontinental Championship. Wade Barrett versus The Miz. Now, I personally think Wade Barrett is going to retain the title because there's no way in hell they're going to put a title change on a show that's not on WrestleMania, on the pre-show, which is on fucking YouTube. There's no way they would put it on YouTube and not WrestleMania. That's a missed opportunity they would put a title change. So, Wade Barrett will definitely keep the title. But anyway, let's move on to the WrestleMania card. WrestleMania 29 card, the actual pay-per-view. First up is Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger for the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, it could go either way. But I'm pro I'm going for Del Rio on this one. I'm I'm pretty sure Del Rio will most likely win, but it could go either way. But I have a feeling Del Rio will win. Next match: Sheamus, Randy Orton, The Big Show versus The Shield. I think Randy Orton, Big Show, and Sheamus are going to win. Un unless the only way it could possibly the shield could possibly win is like someone else interferes or maybe one of them turns heel. There's there's a rumor going around that one of the guys like Seamus, Randy Orton or the Big Show is going to turn heel and side with the shield, but we'll see how it turns out. But so far I'm going to go with Seamus and Randy Orton and the Big Show for winning the match. Next match is Ryback versus Mark Henry. Um, I'm definitely going to go with Ryback because he's quite over with the crowd. You know, the crowd seems to love him. With, you know, the feed me more chance, and he's he's been on a roll in most of his matches. And he, he so I I definitely see Ryback winning his match against Mark Henry. Next up is Kane and Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler, Biggie Langston for the tag team titles, WWE tag team titles. Uh, I see, I think Kane and Daniel Bryan are going to retain because Dolph Ziggler already has the money in the bank and, you know, unless they're giving them, unless they're giving Dolph Ziggler like a huge push, they, if they, if they want to give him like the tag titles and the WWE title, if he cashes in the money in the bank in WrestleMania tonight, and I definitely, I most likely see Kane and Daniel Bryan win. So yeah, uh, Dolph Ziggler probably won't win the tag titles um, because he's going after the, the either the world title or the WWE title since he is Mr. Money in the Bank. And uh, as for Biggie Langston, I I think it's a bit too early for him to be champion. Just the same. Anyway, next next match, Chris Jericho versus Fandango. Uh, first off, I, Chris Jericho is definitely going to win, but I think Jericho and I mean Fandango needs to put out a really good match because he's been getting a lot of you can't wrestle chance, and if he if he pretty much jobs at Jericho and doesn't put out a good match, it, then um, the chants are going to get worse. So uh, he need, really, really needs to prove himself. He has not proven himself at all. And that's not good for him. Next up, Brodus Clay, Tensai, and the Funkendactyls versus Road Scholars and Bellas. I'm definitely seeing Rose Scholars and the Bellas win. Even though, you know, Brodus Clay and Tensai are pretty big compared to them. 
uh, I definitely think they're going to find uh, Cody Rhodes and um, Damian Sandow will win somehow. And also the Bellas are actually a little bit better than the Funkadactyls in the ring. They actually have some experience. Yeah, but that, that, that match does not look interesting to me. Yes guys, you just witnessed a jump cut. Because I forgot to mention another match that's going to be in Wrestlemania. And I am an idiot for mentioning this because it is a very important match. It's Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. And if Triple H, is, tri Triple H loses, his career is over. And Shawn Michaels, I think he's the special guest referee. So my prediction for that match will be that Brock Lesnar will win the match because, you know, Triple H is the COO now. He's not, he's pretty much not going to be, you know, a permanent wrestler anymore. He's just working, you know, as one of the, the higher position of the company. So, yeah, I do think Triple H will lose and then Brock Lesnar will win. Next up. The Undertaker vs. CM Punk, the big one, the first big match, and I think this is a no-brainer. The Undertaker is going to win, but so, because I don't think, I don't think they would put CM Punk as the guy to break the streak. I'll be shocked if CM Punk breaks the streak because, as much as I'm a huge fan of CM Punk, I don't think, I don't think he's the right guy to break the streak. I think there are other guys worthy of it. Even guys like Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Sting. Even though he never worked for WWE, you know he's he's been with WCW and TNA. I just think got somebody like him is worthy of beating the streak. Definitely not CM Punk, but we'll see. Next up is the main event. The Rock versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. And again, a no-brainer. John Cena is going to win because The Rock is part-time movie star, part-time WWE superstar. So, John Cena is going to win and The Rock is going to go back to like movies very soon. He's been on and off. He's an on and off guy. I don't think he's going to stay there for long. He's going to take a hiatus, go back to Hollywood, and then maybe come back again and face John Cena for like the third time or something. But yeah, John Cena is most likely going to win. And there's a rumor going around that Cena might turn heel at WrestleMania, but I wouldn't hold my breath. So, yeah, those are my predictions for WrestleMania 29. Um... And I want to talk about the build-up for, like, The Undertaker and CM Punk. I, I was about to talk about that. You know, people have been talking about how they've been exploiting the death of Paul Bearer. And, yeah, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it's right to exploit Paul Bearer's death in the storyline. I mean, I mean, not even the Attitude Era with its raunchy storylines and crazy stuff Vince Russo did. They didn't exploit Owen Hart's death or Brian Pillman's death. Yeah. But it, it's sad that in the PG era where they're supposedly appealing to kids and soccer moms, they exploit Paul Bearer's death. Yeah, it's pretty sad. But anyway, like I said, this is my predictions for WrestleMania 29. Uh, the card, the overall card, doesn't look that exciting to me. There's only, a, like, a few matches that interest me. But, overall, this is probably not going to be the best WrestleMania. I see, you know, another lackluster one, like, last year and the year before. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy this predictions video. And I'm only going to do this like once a year. I'm not going to do, you know, every single pay-per-view. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I'm Ali Rx, and I tell it like it is.